Hello everyone and welcome to another um, art corner, I guess is what I'm calling this. Uh, this is another uh, warm, I think this is a warm up instead of a warm down. Uh, so I was, it was early in the morning as opposed to late at night. But uh, I thought it might be interesting to also leave in one of the ideas that I had for a drawing. So I, did, I, I haven't finished this, this was just a... Uh, I wanted to draw um, a character race sort of thing I'm I'm working on, or that I have worked a little bit on for um, a homebrew D and D sort of universe, which uh, they're called uh, Genomixers, and um, it's really nerdy to talk about, but uh, they're kind of like um, it's it's set in like a post-apocalyptic, radi radioactive wasteland sort of thing, but um, their deal, uh, and in this universe, uh, like you can you can get mutated. Uh, if you collect enough uh, radiation, uh, but their deal is that they want to collect a lot of radiation uh, because uh, I found what was really interesting was that one of my um, one of the players in my game I made I made the whole mutation system and uh, it was supposed to be like there's drawbacks you know there's like um, uh, positives and negatives to to getting mutations but he just wanted to collect as many as possible and uh, I thought it might be cool. If uh, if there was a, a way for him to have a little bit more control over that, if he wanted, you know, so uh, I came up with uh, this this sort of weird alien, not really alien, but uh, blue skinned sort of uh, mutation based uh, people who who are all about because they have the the one of the first mutations they had was that they they started to get control over the like the genomes in their body, so. They're all about like collecting different mutations and 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 using each one in battle as um, as they need, you know. Um, it does sound a little bit OP, but there's I mean like that's the whole point of of building like a homebrew is you got to try and balance it, you know. What are the drawbacks to this and that sort of thing? So um, yeah, that that drawing in the beginning, I, I was like, no, she doesn't look uh, wastelandy enough, you know. She she looks a bit too um, you know bikini beach babe. So I was like, okay, I got to go back in and and. And I, I went and I looked a little bit at some of my um, my older designs for the that sort of universe, and I came back to uh, I wanted to draw an uh, electric screwdriver sort of sort of wielder. Um, so yeah, that that's kind of what this drawing is. Uh, so we can see here I'm doing the inks. Uh, I I didn't really plan out the the costume at all very much here, but I, I knew that I wanted to draw a particular weapon. That's in that uh, game, which is a it's an electric screwdriver. So you can get a screwdriver, and then you can attach it to like a a, a stick, and you get a screwdriver spear. And uh, one of the upgrades for that is an electric screwdriver, which is you add a, a battery to it, so it gets a little bit of a a shock sort of uh, modifier to its damage. And um, you know, it's a very the I mean the whole the whole thing is called the Redlands, and the it's a very um, you know, Fallout inspired. Uh, nuclear throne sort of inspired well, only in the in the sense that, that I mean I call the the thing mutations which is what they also use in nuclear throne which is a really cool idea and I used that as a as a bit of a baseline for when I started writing it and that was fun uh, because I really like the idea of, I mean I like nuclear throne in that the the characters mutate and they get stuff like you know like tough skin you know and that's like extra armor but it's also like the skin is has become like more leathery or or like Gross. And there was an old um, TSR, I think it was TSR, like um, Dungeons and Dragons own it, that company, I think. I need to go back and check if, if it's the same sort of studios, but uh, called Gamma World, which uh, which is really fun. I had a Choose Your Own Adventure book of that when I was young, and I remember loving that. And they had they also had blue skin people in it too at some point, so I think that's slightly some of the... Um, the inspiration there. I really need to look up what those blue skin people were called because that was kind of fun. But yeah, I, I really enjoy Radlands and um, working on it and coming up with ideas for it. I think it's one of the few uh, homebrew like ideas I had that I actually wrote a little bit of fan fiction for. It was kind of weird writing like fan fiction for your own homebrew universe, but that was it was it was fun, you know, coming up with with interesting characters and fleshing out the world a little bit more and. Um, I really need to work on that campaign some more. Um, so yeah, I mean, she's got a little bit of a Mad Maxi sort of like uh, look about her, and uh, like like ammo sort of uh, bandolier, 
And uh, apart from that, she's, she's kind of just like a like a warrior sort of lady. I mean, she's got like pouches because everyone needs pouches, as uh, Leifeld will um, will attest to. Uh, this bit here was I um I I messed up and I need to go back down and into the the layers and select like all the brown so I can make the the wire like glow because it's it is a screwdriver on a stick. It's not like a gigantic screwdriver, so it's kind of hard to to add details to it in in my particular style so you know just make the the wire all glow and it's like oh okay so it's electricity maybe i should have made it blue instead of yellow but then we'd have a lot of like extra blue going on there and i mean she's she's blue enough and uh i probably also should have um done a bit more research and and or, or looked at uh some fallout fallout-esque armor before i went and did this drawing but it was it was a warm-up i was just doing this from memory sort of thing and uh, I mean, she does have a red necklace, you know, which has uh, radiation. And there's people outside uh, talking, so you may hear them in the background as well. Um, what else? Yeah, adding some highlights here, some rim lighting. Um, you know, the, doing these warm ups is pretty much just like doing the whole process from start to finish, just so that you know you're not going straight into work or something you planned. Um, blind you know or just just you, you don't really want this it's like warming up to um to do exercise you know it's it's you you do a warm-up uh you're not really going to use it i think they're on the phone now outside as well and i am going to use this audio because i don't have much time today so this is <laughs> this is going to be the audio we use for this video but you know and uh, of course, you know, do a little bit of a background. I don't know what that is. I just kind of like the look of the the glowy, explosiony sort of stuff around her. And uh, a very simple, flat, you know, plain black ground, black ground background. And uh, there we go. Add some color to it. Add a bit of noise so it's not like a flat drawing. And uh, put the signature on it. And uh, there we go. So that's um, she's Jenna Mixer from um, Redlands. And um, this has been another warm up, warm down art corner. You enjoy that and uh, I hope you have a great day.